beautiful. I'm super excited to share with you three ways to weather a bad mood. So let's begin. Have you ever felt pretty blah um, because of the weather? Like it's raining and it's cloudy and you feel less productive and more tired versus when it's sunny outside, you might feel more productive and you have more energy throughout the day. There's a reason for it and I'm gonna tell you what it is. Serotonin is a neurotransmitter. It's a, basically a chemical messenger that sends messages between nerve cells in your body. It's found in your nervous system, the central nervous system that is, the GI tract, and in your blood platelets. It's a happy hormone that helps boost your mood. It's known as the mood stabilizer hormone. Um, it's also been associated with sunlight. So um, when you're more productive throughout the day, it's because your serotonin in your body is being stimulated from daylight. It's also a precursor to another hormone called melatonin. Now, melatonin helps regulate your sleep-wake cycles and your body clock, just name a few. So when you think of serotonin, think of daylight and sunlight and this brightness. And then when you think of melatonin, think of night and darkness. Got it? So how does this all relate to affecting your mood? How does the weather affect your mood? Well, the sunlight produces vitamin D, and vitamin D has been linked to stimulating uh, serotonin. So when there's a lack of sunlight, it causes dips in your serotonin to go down, which in turn activates melatonin, causing you to feel less productive and more tired. You see? And so, what are some other natural ways that we get serotonin more stimulated? Well, there are three ways. The first way is through exercise. Daily physical activity can help improve your serotonin levels. So I like to work out, um, I say like 30 to 40 minutes, I like to work out once a day. Um, I do it like maybe five or six days maybe more five days a week <laughs> and yeah it just gives me um it just gives me a boost of energy especially after work so that's always good the second thing that you can do to help boost your serotonin is eating the right foods so you want to eat foods that contain an amino acid called tryptophan and tryptophan has been linked to um, help synthesize serotonin. So it's all connected in some kind of way. And those foods, you want to think of um, vitamin D, vitamin B6, and omega-3s like salmon. And you also want to eat things like chicken, eggs, spinach, seeds, bananas, pineapples, plums, turkey, milk, things like that will help boost your serotonin. The last thing that you want to do to help boost your serotonin, um, help stimulate it, is doing what makes you feel good. So for me, I like to journal, I like to walk in the park. Um, even when it's kind of cloudy, well partly cloudy, I still walk in the park. That helps get my serotonin levels up and it makes me feel good. Um, I also write children books and I also like to create things like make bracelets and just learn different things and I like to be creative and that helps me a lot. So find what you're passionate in and do that and all of that will help boost your serotonin which in turn will help give you that internal um, happiness for that uh, day. I hope this helps and I'll see you next time. Bye beautiful.